Well, we finally got one. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jacksonville Jaguars new stadium rebuild renderings just dropped. And now looking at this first photo, it immediately reminds me of one of those Qatar renderings back uh, when they were planning all their stadiums for the World Cup. But guys, I'm going to go through this entire thing. The first thing I want to say, this is like... Imagine this is like a home edition. That's what this is. The original stadium, TIAA Bank Field, will remain. If you want to call it a rebuild, if you want to call it a massive renovation, whatever you want to call it, the like the original stadium core, the lower bowl and the upper deck is the same, but they are adding a bunch to this. This is a billion dollar project that very likely will take multiple years to complete. I'm sure we're going to hear about more in the coming days on where the Jaguars will be playing. I'll do another video on that, but the original rumor is 2025-2026. They might have to relocate to another stadium. I would speculate right now, this is just speculation, but my speculation would be they would play in Orlando, Florida at Camping World Stadium And by the way, Camping World Stadium has a renovation coming as well. But let's get into it, guys. Get into these renderings. Take a look. You can immediately see the translucent roof. This is an open-air stadium. We're going to get to that. You can see it looks like right next to the stadium, another building that I'm guessing would be built up maybe as like an extra little area for fans. They tend to do that a lot with these newer stadiums. That's a very nice photo of the exterior outside of it. You can see the sun shining off of the facade, the silver design, kind of chrome-like. I'm a fan of that. That looks very nice. I'll give it to them. And there it is at night. They got some fireworks going off. Of course, the renderings are going to look very good. You can see that's a nice chrome right there, silver. Uh, That's part of the plan of this stadium to have that type of effect. Really a fan of that design. And there are just more photos of the exterior. And then you can see, so this is the first interior shot I'm showing. The roof, does it remind you of anything? It does look exactly like the translucent SoFi Stadium roof. Uh, That's, to me, basically a carbon copy look-alike. The one thing that they're selling, they're going to completely redesign the concourses and make them four times bigger. I'm guessing that was a problem with TIAA Bank Field. If you guys remember, I had said the Jaguars need to do something about this stadium. The NFL is going to force their hand if they don't. It is not up to standard. And then the immediate rumor comes out, this was a few months ago, that they were going to rebuild the stadium. And I don't know if I like the word rebuild because the the, the core stands are staying the same. They're just kind of, you know, obviously adding a roof, doing other things to it. Uh, And then this is the kind of iconic interior shot. So you can see it looks like they are changing uh, some of the stands in the middle lower section. And looks like the upper deck is remaining the same. They also have some weird curtain. I'm not going to speculate on it. I'm guessing that's above the stands because it's not like this stadium sits a ridiculous amount of people. But the roof is the exact same thing. And this is really what's going to start happening with a lot of these stadiums in America, especially for the NFL. They're going to be covered. They're just going to be covered. They are going to be completely see-through because you can do it with the idea that In the event it's really sunny, you can dim them a little bit. The SoFi Stadium effect, whenever you're watching a game on TV at SoFi, even if it's really sunny out, it almost comes off as like a neutral sunlight into the stadium. That's because it's being filtered in and being dimmed through the roof, which eliminates the power of the sun and really keeps the temperatures down within the stadium. This is a look, looks like this side of the stadium, this end zone is going to be completely redone. Looks like they're building a little bit onto the end of it. And you can see the pools at both ends. That's kind of what Jacksonville was iconic for, uh, the pool at this stadium. I would imagine the pools will be rebuilt. I understand the idea of the pools because it is Jacksonville, it's Florida. They're kind of known for it at this point. You know, it's tough, man. I think it's fine. You know, it's what they're known for. Personally, me, if I had a stadium, I would not have a pool like that in it. I think it makes it look peewee. 
But it, it, it's an opinion, right? Every stadium's not going to be the exact same design, so you have to respect the unique factor of it. Looks like they're adding some standing room only areas in the back there with a brand new scoreboard that has little wings on the side of it. These scoreboards are getting more crazy each time a new stadium model gets designed. And now we're seeing the exact carbon copy of the European soccer stadiums with the entire scoreboard, kind of like a scoreboard wing, going around the full stadium. That's what we're seeing now as well. There's another photo of it. The stands are going to be changed a little bit to make it look better. And it does look like it's hard to tell with the upper deck. Um, you know, I, I, I can't really, it looks like there's a canopy blocking some of the seats. Maybe I don't want to speculate too much on that, but that is kind of a weird feature in these renderings. And then you can see they've got more exclusive seating down below. A lot of teams are doing this. Hard Rock Stadium did it with their exclusive clubs. It's almost like it's NBA floor seats for the NFL. That's what these clubs would be right down almost on the field. And then you can see they've got different mocks. This stadium being in Jacksonville, Florida. Would the college football playoff go there? I mean, I guess, you know, with it being a dome, it's nice weather. The Florida-Georgia game, the world's biggest cocktail party, they always play there. So I'm sure they're very happy. But I would imagine... Uh, Florida and Georgia would play somewhere else, probably the Camping World Stadium. I know I keep saying that, but it just makes so much sense. That's probably where that game is going when this stadium gets rebuilt, which, again, will likely take two years. And then there's the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl uh, right there. So, And then there's just more stuff on the interior with those three things. TCU and Georgia in the mock of the national championship. I don't think we're going to see TCU in the national championship again. I'm sorry, but I'm, I know I know it's just, it's nice how they have the, you know, lights that match the teams. That's pretty sweet if they actually do that in real life. I'm sure they could. And then you can see international soccer, a concert, very standard stuff, pretty nice lighting going around it. And then Final Four basketball, which is very curious to me, considering they say that it is technically going to be open air. And the reason that SoFi Stadium, because this seems like the exact same technology that was used for SoFi, SoFi is not retractable, but it's open air. And they wanted to host the Final Four, but they said... Maybe it's like a condensation thing on the court because it is not fully enclosed because you have some airflow through the stadium. SoFi Stadium was denied hosting the Final Four, so I'm not sure how they would host the Final Four. And then we'll just get to the big features, the concourse elevated 30 feet above the ground, offering more views of Jacksonville and the St. Johns River. A 360-degree concourse, four times wider than before, will feature interactive social bars and a variety of unique experiences Alongside culinary delights native to Jacksonville, every fan will discover something unique during the game. So they're going to update the food as well. Uh, the seating bowl flexibility provides a base capacity for 62,000 with expansion capacities for 71,000 for college football games and for a concert. So yeah, like it, it does look like that's what the curtain is. I was wondering if that was blocking seats. I think it is. That's what, because where else would the expansion be other than the curtain coming up? And you know, I wonder if you go to the concert. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a, it's a curtain. Uh, we're doing curtains in 2023 renderings, guys. I guess I don't know. Um, if I was doing a rendering, I would not want to include a curtain into it. I would just have the stadium full, but. Uh, the venue can transform its appearance through lighting uh, and digital technology, which will create distinct game day experiences. So that another big thing they're doing with this is they're improving the lighting. Very futuristic, very nice. The stadium is designed with sustainability in mind with a first-of-its-kind mirrored material. The energy-efficient facade reflects Jacksonville's waterfront, vegetation, and district spirit. The open-air venue features a large shade canopy that reduces heat retention by more than 70%, lowers temperature 10 to 15 degrees, and protects fans from the weather. 
The facade is raised at the northern and southern ends to optimize airflow, enabling passive cooling throughout the stadium. So there you have it. It will be an open air stadium with a very similar idea to SoFi and a translucent see-through roof that lets in a ton of natural light while keeping the temperature down, but I'm not sure they'd be able to host the Final Four because SoFi Stadium ran, ran into this exact same problem. The stadium will feature lookout decks that offer citywide views, a roof membrane... A fitted roof membrane introduces ambient light throughout the stadium interior, and then they go on to say it will generate a bunch of jobs. So this is a massive renovation with, uh, you know, the core of the stadium, the two decks are remaining, but they are being changed and they're changing both sides of the end zone while really expanding the overall footprint of the stadium by expanding the concourses four times, adding in luxury seating, adding in the roof aspect of it. And really making this a, a very state-of-the-art facility, I will give them credit. My favorite feature of it, you know, probably is the facade. I love that silver look that reflects off of it. That's very futuristic. And then also you do have the see-through roof. I'm guessing this is going to be a billion-dollar project at least uh, for Jacksonville. So this is something that's upcoming. I'm sure there's going to be more you know, news on it because there's a lot of questions now that this is announced. Where will Jacksonville play? I think it's going to be Orlando. This is probably going to be a two year rebuild or renovation, whatever you want to call it. At least it's going to take a season. So they will be playing elsewhere. And we still do have questions about the Cleveland Browns stadium situation. They're scheduled for a rebuild, but no renderings have come out on that. Carolina Panthers, same thing. We'll have to see, but we could have multiple NFL teams playing at temporary homes as their stadiums get built. The first one, it does look like Jacksonville at TIAA Bank Field with a brand new scoreboard, a new roof, a canopy, but it is still an open air stadium, so there will be airflow that goes in throughout. Uh, if I was them, I would probably just commit to making it closed, you know, so you could host more events, but maybe it would be over budget. I don't know. It does cost a lot to completely climate control a big stadium like that. So either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.